Hi, I'm Vicki from ID8 TV, and today I'm talking with Travis from Bloodstone Studios. Why don't you tell me a little bit about all the really cool artwork and tarot cards and everything you have in front of you here? So uh, I started a company a few years ago to publish tarot cards, and uh, I started writing, creating my own decks. I have uh, a series of artists that I work with to, to make new decks, and uh, that's it. This is one of my most recent decks, the Vlad Dracula Tarot. To make this deck, I actually went to Romania and went to the places where Vlad the Impaler lived and worked and, and romanced and fought and everything else and uh, was able to you know, sort of bring that spirit back and put it in the deck. So that's why every deck I create is really based in history and some factual you know, piece. It's not just stuff I'm making up as I go along. Like I saw you had like an Egyptian oracle deck too. Yeah, it's right there. If you want to grab it. Yeah, sure. Right there. Right here. <laughs> so to make the Egyptian star oracle, I actually went to Egypt. I went down in the tombs of a, in a place called Asut in the Western Desert and photographed the tomb art. So what's in this deck? Some of it has never been seen before, like by Western eyes, you know? It's never been seen unless you went to Egypt and actually looked in the tombs. And even like this star pattern that's on the back of every deck, that comes from a place called the Mountain of the Dead in Siwa Oasis. Never been photographed before, you'll never see it anywhere else. So, and it's all based on Egyptian astrology and Egyptian magic and Egyptian religion. That's, now how did you get into all this? It actually started with the tarot, you know, I just was interested, like, what's the history of the tarot? Where does it come from? Who invented it? Who decided that card means that thing? And on that journey, as I was going through it, it led me back to ancient Egypt. So that's sort of the core of everything. That kernel, those 36 uh, wheels of the decan or spokes of astrology, uh, actually are all based right here in, in ancient Egypt. That is so interesting and so amazing. And so did you study a lot of Egyptology with that? I did. I had to. I actually had to learn to read hieroglyphics. I'm not perfect at it, but I'm good enough where I can see a certain set of hieroglyphics and understand. So if you saw a curse, would you be able to identify it? I hope so. Because okay, I don't want you to curse us all again, okay? I'm pretty concerned that somebody did a curse and that's why we had a pandemic, so. True, yeah. Hey, and, and you know what? Actually, while I was in Egypt, I went down into King Tut's tomb and I bribed the guard an extra 200 pounds to let me go into the burial chamber. And after I came out of there, on the ride back to Cairo, I got so sick. I mean, I had a fever. I thought, I've got COVID. I'm going to die. But I took some Tylenol, and the next couple of days, if everything went away, and I was fine. But I think it was the curse of King Tut's tomb. Yeah, King Tut was like, get out. He was not happy. He did not want me down there next to his burial chamber, for sure. And the last thing that I really want to ask you about is you mentioned that you have these spell books or something? Yeah, so actually, this book right here the grimoire of heaven and hell. Um, I went to France to the Arsenal Library and they've got a huge repository of old books of magic, what we would call grimoires. And basically I copied down all that information, translated it from Latin and French and put it into English. And this compendium has never been released before. I'm the one to sort of bring it all together. German, French, Latin, all these different languages spanning over a thousand years of, of knowledge. German, French, Latin, e ancient Egyptian. Are you a wizard? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I, I call myself an occultist, but I guess you could call me a, a wizard or a sorcerer or whatever you want to. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Well, everybody, make sure to check out Bloodstone Studios to get your hands on these oracle decks and all this magic so you can do a spell. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for talking with me, Travis. I've been Vicki Eisenstein from ID8 TV.